Have you ever needed to use a second computer to edit your images in Lightroom Classic? Well, today I'm going to show you how. Welcome to the Visual Center. I'm Trent, and in today's post-production tips, we're continuing our discussion about Lightroom Classic, specifically how to edit our images on multiple computers without using the cloud. First off, if you have a second, please give this video a like. This will really help the Visual Center to grow. Thank you. Now in future videos, I'll be going over how to sync catalogs wirelessly, but for today, we'll be using external drives like these. Now these will plug into our computers and then we'll physically transfer our images from one machine to another. Now there are a few ways of doing this, and if you can think of another way that I don't mention here, be sure to let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about your solution. Now, as I mentioned repeatedly in my last few videos, we need to be aware of two things. First, where are our catalog or preview images and where are our raw images? So first, we need to locate both those items. Now, take a look at this previous video where we covered how to organize our files. That information will make this first step much easier. Now, let's take a look at my screen. Here in this pictures area, on my computer, we can see one Lightroom folder and one raw images folder. This is where we'll be working today. Now, if you're on a PC, look for your Lightroom folder under your username and then pictures, and your raw images should be wherever you chose to save them in Lightroom Classic. Now, this first method I'm gonna be showing you may be a bit slow for those of us with a large amount of images. All we're going to do is just grab these two folders, the Lightroom and the raw images folder, and add them to our external drive. Like this, let me show you. First off, select these two folders, now grab them and drop them onto the external drive. Now eject the external drive, like this. Now move to a second computer. I don't have a second computer here with me. But don't worry, I can still show you how to accomplish this. Plug in the external drive into the new computer. Now, navigate to the pictures area and just add these two folders from the external drive and drag and drop them into the pictures area or the same area where they were found on our original computer. On this new computer, double click on the Lightroom folder here and then double click on the .lrcat file here. This will open our Lightroom Classic catalog as it was on our original computer. Now, we'll be able to quit and reopen Lightroom Classic on this new machine and edit our images as much as we want. Now, if you do happen to see this icon here down at the bottom of one of your images in the film strip, just click the icon and relocate the images following this prompt. This just directs Lightroom to where our, the raw images are saved on our new computer. Now the second method I'm gonna show you may save us a bit of time because we won't be copying all our raw images back and forth. During our image import in Lightroom Classic, we see this dialog box here. Now on the top right hand panel, underneath the file handling section here, you see a section called Build Smart Previews. Now this option allows us to edit our images in Lightroom Classic without having our raw images connected to our computer. In order to do this, we should connect our external drive and select it as the permanent destination for our raw images. So, select the destination of the raw images here at the top, or here at the bottom. Either way, select the external drive as the location for our raw images. Now, once the Build Smart Preview checkbox is selected here, and our raw images are being directed to our external drive, we can now import our images. Now after this import is finished, all we need to copy to the external drive to move to a second computer is the Lightroom folder in the pictures area on the original computer. Now select and drag this folder to the external drive. Select it, drag and drop it onto the drive. Now eject the drive and move to a new machine. Now when we move to the new machine, all we need to do is plug in the external drive like this. 
and copy over the Lightroom folder into the same location within the pictures area on this new computer. Sometimes it helps to open the pictures area in a new finder window and then click and drag and drop that Lightroom folder into this pictures area. Now on the new computer again just double click on the Lightroom folder and then double click on the .lrcat file. This will open our Lightroom catalog just as it was on our original computer. Now with this process, while we work on our images, there's no need for the external drive to remain connected to our computer. We can eject the drive and continue to edit. Now, once our editing is finished and we're ready to export, just reconnect the external drive with the raw images and begin the exporting process, a process we'll cover in a future video. Okay, so that's it. These are two of the simplest methods to use in order to edit in Lightroom Classic on multiple computers, just using a basic external drive. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.